morning, friends. I thought that today I would take you along with me. I um, have kind of a fun, well, I, I don't know, kind of like a fun, busy day. First things first, I'm going to go and look at a house to rent because I found out this house is infested with mold. There's a bunch of mold um, in our crawl space. And I've been having symptoms ever since we moved here, so like a year and a half, where I wake up and after nine hours of sleep, like a dead sleep, didn't wake up once throughout the night, and I'm still tired. My eyes are extremely red when I don't use, I showed you guys this last video, when I don't use my Lumify, my eyes are so red. Um, I constantly have like a runny nose, like a sniffly nose, like some sort of like mucus in my, <clears throat> throat and chest um i also my skin rashes have been insane like this kind of started i want to say like a year from like today like anytime something scratches against my skin everything turns like so red i've like always been so confused i'm like i eat so healthy i cut everything that could be triggering it out of my diet including like dairy and gluten all i eat is literally fruit potatoes rice and meat and honey like that's literally all i eat and i'm like how is my body being triggered like this i think it was like on my tiktok or something but like mold came up on my tiktok and i was like oh, i have these symptoms like it's probably this and then like went around and looked at a couple like places in my house and i was like oh my god that looks like mold on the walls and had someone come out here they found mold i just i want to get out of here so anyways i'm going to go meet my assistant ellie um at the house actually we're gonna get matcha from this little cafe first and then i have something really exciting to share with you that i haven't literally told anybody online at all yet you'll be the first to know quick ootd before i leave i got this headband from amazon i gotta find which one it is so i can link it and then these earrings are i believe the name is cecilia kashi i think that's how you say it um, this girl that I follow, she's literally the prettiest person I've ever seen. Amanda Kamakao, I think that's how you say her last name. Then my shirt, I think this is Joe Brown. I'm pretty sure Joe Brown. These jeans are just vintage Levi finds. And then I have rain boots on. And it's raining, so. Then I'm just gonna put on a little more face. And it's cold. And then it has this little hood, so I can like protect my hair. It's perfect. Okay, before I go, I'm going to a little bit of OJ and beef liver. So how I eat my beef liver, I do not like the taste of it at all. Like it just kind of tastes like irony, like blood. I don't know. So I cut it up really small, and I swallow it like a pill. And this just makes it really easy to. Uh, um, get all your nutrients in that it provides for you um, but yeah anyways all you need is literally like half an ounce to an ounce a day and that's it it's really not that much and if you take it with orange juice and just swallow it like it's you can't even taste it at all easy but anyways I like to do that once a day it helps me get everything that I need Oh, one important thing, if you want to start trying this, make sure you go to like a trusted farmer. Like this is from a um, local farmer, grass-fed, grass-finished liver, really important. It's really important that your organs are grass-finished as well. So, yeah, eat your meat liver. I also just saw um, this girl, Bramty she swallows her beef liver and like she'll soak it in honey and then swallow it i guess that's another way to do it i gotta try that i love honey we all know that add honey to anything and it's good but i'm making my little yogurt i'm having a little bit of this coco june that's such a cute name coco june pure coconut cultured yogurt um it's very heavy in fat 18 grams of fat six carbs two sugars and two protein okay and I'm gonna do some raw local honey in here and I do like that much honestly I used to add like at least four tablespoons and I think one tablespoon is like 60 calories and it's um 
17 carbs, 17 sugars. So I was adding to it and I started to see a little bit of extra fluff come on. So I had to limit my honey intake, unfortunately. Then I'm just putting some cinnamon on top. Oh, this is like the best combo. You guys have to try this, please. So we're looking at the house. Really cute, I'll show you a little bit. The nice wood floors, love this. Super aesthetic. What do you think? I love it, look at the bathroom. Great light in here for filming. Adorable. So right now, I am standing in front of our new warehouse gym office space. I have been waiting to tell you guys about this for ah, for so long. We've been working on it, I think since September or something like that. So it's come a long way. I'll have to show some like before photos, but I've like started to design my new YouTube set. Like I'm just obsessed with the aesthetic that we're building here and there's some really exciting things coming to Keech Peach. For those of you that don't know what Keech Peach is, Keech Peach is my fitness company that me and Michael, my boyfriend, have been working on. And we kind of put it on hold just for a little bit. Um, just mainly because I, I wanted to like change everything. I want the aesthetic to be completely different. It wasn't something I was proud of. So I'm finally like really excited to relaunch Peach Peach. We have a lot of fun things coming, but I just want to show you the warehouse and the office. It's so cute. It's not done yet. We have to order all the equipment, so that'll be here at some point, but yeah. Guys, we did so good. I know. You did so good. I'm so proud of us. Yeah. And I'm you excited to see the way the reno turns out. Yes, the before and after. we'll be able to really know like, are we, are we good at this or, like, <laughs> or not? But so far, guys, so far, I think we've crushed it. This is incredible. I mean, y'all just wait. I mean, they got to see the whole thing. Have they seen like the lighting? Check yeah. out the lighting up here. We did track lighting up here. LED, 3000 Kelvin, guys. It's a nice color warm it's inviting yes it's peaceful it's a lot it's warmer sad. in person it looks kind of cool on here but um yeah, in cool. person it's it's nice but here is what the office looks like we have big daddy mike's desk right over there mm, i like that <laughs> and then we have um ellie's desk my desk and right here we're going to put like a couch and a tv like a little lounge section and then okay this is part is so cool for when I want to film like cooking videos, we have this whole like kitchen setup, and then it keeps going. Okay, we also have this bathroom. Like, look at how nice this is. We got to put tile all on the walls. Super cute. My stuff is about to be so aesthetic. Obsessed. Not to mention, we are stocked up on the best energy drink on the planet, babe. What is that? Celsius, baby! That's on game! That the light? Oh, there's no light in here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're stocked up, guys. So, if anybody's in Nashville and you need a little caffeine kick, you know, just a stop on by. Serene. I'll throw a can at you while you drive by. <laughs> oh my gosh. Anyways, this is their um, flavor of the month, <laughs> or at least my flavor of the month, Fantasy Vibe. It is super good. This is, as you know, this is like the only energy drink that we drink. Um, so it's amazing. I will leave a, li a link in the description box below if you want to check them out. A little midday crash, so I'm gonna have the Fantasy Vibe Celsius. So I posted a um, Instagram story, I think it was like a week ago now, of my hair and how long it's gotten. And I got a lot of DMs asking what I've been doing to grow it. And I thought that I'd do like a- oh my god, my hair. I thought that I would do like a little tutorial just showing you what I do. So obviously like my hair is pretty greasy right now. <laughs> I usually wash it um, once a week, if that honestly, I try not to wash it that often. Sometimes I'll just like rinse it with water. Um, but anyways, okay. So yeah, I try not to like over dry my hair by washing. So I like to um, oil like do like a little hair oil mask um every time i wash my hair so i will put this in the roots um for about three hours i never sleep in this because i think that it can like over clog your scalp 
pores or your hair follicles, whatever they are. Um, so I, yeah, I put a, like a whole dropper on my entire head. And then I used this um, hair gloss from the mid lengths to ends. And then after three hours, I wash it. So I take a whole dropper of this Go Lab scalp strengthening serum. And I just like go down my, my head. And I try and focus in the areas that are either a little bit more damaged, um, have less hair, or just, yeah, areas I want to focus on. Okay, and then that's like all you do. And you take your hands and massage. And you really don't need much and you do not want to overclog your follicle. So you really only need one dropper. I mean, and I have a small head, so maybe if you have a bigger head, a dropper and a half. But one does the job for me. And you only want to really put this on your scalp. I don't put it on the rest of my hair. And I swear, like, my hair has grown so much since I started using this stuff. Like, it's actually ridiculous. I've been using it for at least five months now. Like, consistently. Like, I do not miss a day or, like, you know, a hair washing day without using this. And with the hair gloss, mid length ends, I'm definitely a little bit more generous with how much oil I use um just because I do have a lot of like hair so I really like to coat it and it's not like it's like my scalp you know and then I just brush it out and when I brush my hair I always um I always start at the bottom and work my way up and I'm super gentle like if I feel the brush stop on any sort of tangles I'll like stop and like go over them really lightly another thing that I think has really um helped my hair grow is all of the um, healthy eating that I've been doing. Like I'm, like I told you earlier in this video, like I've been staying away from um, gluten, sugar, all that bad stuff. Um, so I feel like with also eating like all the beef liver um, and stuff like that, it's been helping my hair a lot. And I just secure it in a little scrunchie. And you kind of just like leave it how it is, but I personally like to just like twist it into a little like um, bun and then clip it just because I don't want oil getting all over like my shirt and my back because I will break out if oil gets on my back. Um, anyways, and that's it. Then I leave that in for like three hours and then I wash my hair with shampoo twice because if you don't wash it twice with shampoo, it probably um, won't come out all the way. So I do that. Sometimes I'll do mix rosemary oil into my shampoo as well after I do this and let that sit for like five minutes on my scalp um, and then just wash it out regular. Let's see, other hair things that I've been doing. Okay, so I don't really use heat anymore. Honestly, I've been trying to use heat like maybe once a month. Um, usually when I like shoot for um, Instagram or or OF or whatever, I will usually do my hair um, then. So yeah, try to keep heat off, oil, eat healthy. So I think I told you guys in the last video a little bit of why I kind of stopped creating and that was just because so many people were trying to tell me how to live my life or trying to tell me who I am and it just got so annoying that I just felt like I didn't want to share anything. Like I said, past that, like I'm just gonna live my life and I'll attract the right followers and the right people um, just by being me. And so I wanted to share another thing that kind of like stopped me from creating that I'm just like trying to like let go of. Like it's kind of dumb, but it is still like how I feel. I feel like being like a creator who has art, who's already established, I feel a lot of pressure to like have perfect everything like the most perfect aesthetic house or um perfect body like perfect skin perfect hair perfect whatever like there's just so much pressure on that and one thing that has stopped me from creating in that realm is my house like i live in kind of like an old older home from the 80s literally hasn't been touched since um there's a lot of different textures and colors going on in this house definitely not something that inspires me so for so long i felt like oh like i can't create like 
you know, like it's not my aesthetic, like it doesn't look cute, like nobody's gonna like it. Um, and I'm just kind of like over feeling that way. Like I'm not gonna let like me not loving my like home like stop me from creating. Like at the end of the day, like I just want to share my life and, and my experience on this earth and I hope that I can relate or help others who feel like they're on like the same wavelength or journey or whatever um so yeah i thought i'd just like share that like i yeah and i feel like a lot of like other people can like relate with that too i've seen some people say on tiktok that like oh their house like made them like where they live made them feel like they couldn't create content because they don't have the perfect like plates or the perfect countertops or whatever and i definitely feel like i've been struggling with that but i'm like letting go like you know I don't know if any of that made sense. That is the end of my day in the life video. I hope that you enjoyed. If you want to check out Celsius, again, I'll leave a link in the description box below. Anyways, I love you so much and thank you for watching. Bye!